name is Dr. Ingus McNabola. I'm a lecturer in the School of Engineering and I'm working with uh, these people here on the Three Stone Fire, um, measuring the air pollution uh, impact that it has. And essentially what it does is this fire uh, burns fuel more efficiently, so it burns less of it. And the outcome of that is that there is less air pollution emitted from it. Well, the proposed solution, we're, we're interested in two, we're interested in solving two problems. The first problem is, how do we reduce the amount of wood uh, that people need to consume to get the same energy service, to get the same heat service in cooking food? But then we realise, and from the converter technology, that there's an opportunity then to extract electrical energy and convert the heat, the waste heat that doesn't go into the pot, and then convert that into electricity. And that electricity then can be used to power LEDs at night, to power mobile phones and other radios. So very low power, but communication and essential technologies for people in the developing world. Indoor air pollution in the third world is a, is a big killer. I think the World Health Organization rank it somewhere for developing countries, about the third highest cause of death in developing countries. And so you can imagine that we've set up a shed to try and simulate a mud hut in, in the third world. And um, for us, it's, it's completely un uninhabitable. And we're trying to reduce that air pollution a little bit as a consequence of this more efficient stove as well as do the other things they're interested in doing like generate electricity as a result of that. Cost is another big thing because there's no point in making something that people can't afford. So there are devices out there that people have made very technologically advanced but they may cost hundreds of dollars and somebody in the poor countries of the world who use these stoves typically, they can't afford something that costs hundreds of dollars. So uh, the idea of it is that we, we test our equipment here to make sure what we're recording is, is the true value and we intend to send those monitors across to Africa and then test the device in the field and see how much less air pollution there is as a result of using this as opposed to a traditional three stone fire. Last week at the Clinton Global Initiative, Hillary Clinton um, announced an initiative to put 100 million stoves in the hands of people in the developing world by 2020, the so-called 100 by, by 20 uh, uh, approach. Um, we're excited because the box and the technology that we're developing here in Trinity can be leveraged on those stoves then to bring those 100 million households or 100 million users into the information age when that's married with mobile phone te uh, technology or other, other uh, low power devices. What's exciting about this is it's, it's, it's applied with real tangible outputs and you can imagine something you're doing uh, is going to improve the health and maybe prolong the life of people who are less well off than you, then it's very satisfying, you know. The Trinity experience for me, well I came here as a student in 1997 to do engineering um, and you know, it's kind of, it's like a, a community in Dublin city centre, it's like a little village, um, sort of an island in the middle of the city, it's, it's just a very nice environment to be in and then as someone who's employed here several years later it's a very nice environment to work you know. My most enjoyable experience is definitely being the PhD because you really get a chance to do your own in my case engineering and you get a chance to do your own work and see how your own work can make an impact in a specific field and you get to go to present at international conferences and talk to so many people that you would never have met before unless you're doing a PhD.